Hi, uh, today's April 17th, 2007. I'm Jim Cavers, and today we're going to be testing the Amigo Pro water filter. It's a, a gravity-fed water filter. Pretty simple mechanism. Basically, you fill up a, a really lightweight bag, you hang it up in a tree, and you let gravity work to, to do the work to filter the water down into a tube. Um, we've used the MSR um, Mini Mini Works. Uh, before we just found that it was really too much work to have to pump it all the time. Uh, we hope with this one that it's going to be uh, with the Amigo Pro. That is, it's going to be a lot easier to work, um, and we don't have to spend so much time pumping water. Uh, we can just basically hang it uh, and let uh, gravity do uh, do the job for us. So these are the things that actually come with the uh, the Amigo Pro. Uh, it's pretty basic operation. Um, essentially, it's a uh, as I said before, a really lightweight bag. It comes with a catadine water filter there, um, and then this bag essentially has two different handles on either side. Okay, so you would take this and you would scoop up the water with the bag, and then grab the handles and hang it up in a tree like so. Um, now, when you hang it up, the water is going to obviously gravity is going to pull it down and uh, through the tube. And there's a clip here you would close beforehand, and it's supposed to drip uh, into the water filter now or into the uh, analogy, which I'm going to bring with us when we go. Now, as you can see here, the uh, once it's all contained in the stuff sack, it really does go down pretty compact. Um, you can easily put in a backpack, stuff it up. It's not going to take up very much space at all. Not to say that the MSR Pro or water filter, MSR Mini Works water filter did, um, but it, this one really is quite compact and much lighter. It would weigh, uh, I would guess, probably about a quarter of a pound, if even that. Um, it's dry now, so I guess if it, once you add, uh, you get it wet, certainly it's going to add a little bit of weight to it, but for the most part, it's, um, it is pretty wet. Well, we're going down the conservation area now, and as you can see, I was attached the Amigo Pro to a tree, and the uh, spout comes down, um, so now all I have to do now is fill it up with uh, water from the creek behind me, and we'll test the filter. I've got my Nalgene, you know, I'll fill it up. And once I have the water in there, you simply undo this, fill it up with water. Uh, it should be relatively easy, but uh, we'll see. I'll grab some water now, and we'll uh, see how it goes. This takes a little bit of getting used to, but actually it was uh, relatively easy. Now, this water in this creek is, uh, for the most part, pretty gunky. So... Here, first you clear it out, hmm. that seems to be working. It's prime at first, key. As far as the actual suspension goes, that was pretty easy. It holds a fair bit of water, um, and it seems to be um, working really well, once you prime it, that is. Okay, let's get some water from here now. Pretty good flow rate. It kind of trickles out, uh, but I mean, it's, at least I don't have to do it. From first glance, I'd say the water looks really clear. Okay. Nice. So, of the water we have, this is the before water here. You can see it's, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but it's pretty yellowy. This is the after. This is the filtered water, crystal clear. And actually pretty good. Seems like a pretty good filter to me. Um, filling it up was, uh, I think it's one of those things that's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, once you get a method down, though, it's be relatively easy. Um, I could see filling it up being a problem in really cold weather. Today, it's 
it's, it's still, uh, speaking that it's April, it's still, the water's still pretty chilly, so uh, my hands got quite a bit of cold uh, sticking them in the water. Um, so I imagine that might be a problem for winter campers, that kind of thing. Uh, for winter camping, you probably have to keep it in the actual filter itself, in, like inside a Ziploc bag in your sleeping bag, otherwise it would most likely freeze. For my purposes though, I'm going to be using it uh, almost entirely for spring and summer. Um, so I think it's going to be a perfect fit for us. Uh, no work. For the pros, for sure, there's there's no actual work involved. You don't have to do it. You can just hang it, forget it, and let it fill up with any filter you, you have. Um, as far as drawbacks, I think the cold weather canter would be really the only one. Uh, it's a 0.3 micron filter on it. Uh, I know that the MSR filter we had before, the Miniworks, um, had a 0.2 micron. So you're giving up some of the, uh, the filtering ability but you're getting a lot more in return in the fact that you don't have to actually physically uh, filter it yourself. Anyway, it's called the Amigo Pro. It's available through uh, ultralight backpacking equipment. I'll put the website up there. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Algonquinblogspot.com. Have a good day. Cheers.